accounting 6C equipment exchange for a non-interest bearing note. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our Facebook page, St. Louis Test Prep, where we post all the videos. Our email and our website and the book Cost Accounting for Dummies will be out in March of 2013 and I'm teaching a free online course that will be ongoing every month if you have an interest there. I think this is a particularly tough concept because it involves two things that I think are confusing. The first is, is that we're exchanging one asset for another and no cash is exchanged. And the other is, is that, as you'll see up here at the top, neither the equipment nor the interest bearing note have a clearly determined exchange price. Now that's unusual because normally you would be able to find some, some sort of comparable to value all assets including a piece of equipment or an interest bearing note. But in this case we're assuming that you cannot. If that's the case, the concept says then the present value of the note should be discounted using an imputed interest rate. Now typically a question will tell you as this one does that there is a prevailing interest rate or the going interest rate for this type of debt if you will. So here's our question. On January 1st, 2003, Company A exchanges equipment, they hand over equipment and they get back a $200,000 non-interest bearing note. Now the difficult thing with a non-interest bearing note is there is no interest rate stated on the face of the certificate. So what we have to consider is the difference between what we pay for the note and what we'll get back at maturity and also consider the present value. And we're going to get to that in just a minute, and it's a little tricky. So the question at the com the uh, question goes on to say the note is due one one oh six, so it's a three year note. The prevailing interest rate, as I mentioned, is ten percent. The present value of ten percent for three years is 0 0.75. If you went into the present value tables and you went to 10% and scrolled down to three years, you'd find 0.75 is the present value factor of a single sum, a single sum as you see down here. So the question that you're being asked is, what is Company A's interest revenue, what do they earn in 2004? So the beginning of the solution is to figure out the present value of that principal amount of $200,000 that you're going to be paid at maturity. So what this formula does is to take the $200,000 in blue, the principal you'll get back at maturity, and multiply it by the present value of the single sum, 0.75, and we find out the present value of that principal is $150,000. So on Company A's books, $150,000 is going to be our initial carrying amount. To figure the interest revenue for the first year, which will be from 1103 to 1104, we take the initial carrying amount that we just figured out. We're going to multiply that by the imputed interest rate. The prevailing interest rate that was given in the question is also called the imputed rate. We saw that up here too. If I multiply initial carrying amount times imputed interest rate, I get my 2003 revenue, which is $15,000. You can watch my videos on uh, premium and discount amortization <coughs> Excuse me, that are also in the intermediate accounting section on YouTube. Because what happens between 03 and 04 is that the carrying amount of the note is going to change. The initial carrying amount was 150000 Here's the tricky part. That interest revenue is also considered amortization of the discount. What you will see in some textbooks is, is that that interest revenue is going to be subtracted from the total discount on the bond. And that means that if we subtract it from the discount, we're going to add it to the carrying amount, and that's how we amortize. So what I say here is the total discount on the bond was 200000 less the 150. That was the total discount. And the 2003 amortization is going to be the same amount as the revenue, $15,000. You can see those two are linked. 
So the carrying amount, when we have a bond, we have an investment that's at a discount, we amortize up to the par value, or in this case, the principal amount. So we add the amortization for 2003 to the carrying amount. I'm going to get rid of the word initial there. The carrying amount for 2004 is $165,000. It's the 150 in blue plus the 15 in green. Just as we did up here, we're going to take the carrying amount, this time for 2004, and we're going to multiply it by the imputed interest rate, the same imputed interest rate that was given in the question. And if I click on that cell, the carrying amount in blue, 165 times the imputed rate in green, gives us our 04 2004 interest revenue of 16500 which answers the question. So there's several steps to this type of question. The first is you multiply the principal amount times the present value to get your starting point for initial carrying amount. When you compute revenue in any period, that same dollar amount of revenue becomes your amortization. You add the amortization to the prior period's carrying amount. To get a new carrying amount, you multiply the new carrying amount times the same imputed interest rate, you're going to get the next year's interest revenue, which will also be the 04 amortization. The 16500 will get added to the carrying amount to give you the 05 new carrying amount. That's the end of Intermediate Accounting 6C. For additional spread videos and spreadsheets, some not on YouTube, you can go to my website, the YouTube channel, Kim Boyd STL. If you want to know where those bond amortization uh, videos are, you can email me for a complete list of videos. For one-on-one -on -one tutoring and live chat sessions, here is the website. And again, cost accounting for dummies is going to be taught in a free online course that's ongoing as of January 2013. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.